Hey YouTube, it's your girl Tisha. How y'all doing today? So this video is going to be strictly about my weight loss journey, my, my illnesses, and how I am trying to attack it and overcome it. Okay. So I am a PCOS sufferer. Okay. That's a polycystic ovarian syndrome. Acron that was the acronym for that. Whatever. Um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, if you do not know, it is something that um, causes women to be infertile. Uh, could cause uh, fibroids. Fibroids. And a cyst, cyst on the ovaries. So your ovaries, it can have little pileups on it and stuff and cause... You know, new ovums to ovaries, uh, ovum, ovaries, eggs, um, not to be able to be released so you can get pregnant. So, yeah. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that break it down better than I do. And if you've been searching, I know you found something better. But that's the best uh, way for me to do it in a short way. Talk about it. Anyway. So I have PCOS. I also have um, diabetes, and usually those two go hand in hand. I take uh, metformin, which is a pill um, for my diabetes. I take it at the highest dosage, which is a thousand milligrams twice daily. Um, I also, uh, well, my wife and I are trying to conceive, so we've been. Um, going to a fertility specialist and um, my thyroid is good for a woman who's not having a baby but since we are trying to have a baby my thyroid is like borderline high so they put me on um, a thyroid medication called Synthroid to bring it down so it can be at the lowest level so when I do get pregnant it'll go up and it won't go high but it'll just be still in the normal range right so that being said, I am on like a lot of medication besides like vitamins and stuff like that, you know. So I decided some months ago that I'm sick and tired of being overweight. I'm sick and tired of being on so many medications, especially when we've been trying to conceive and I never got to the point where sperm meet egg. Never happened because... I had so many complications with the PCOS, weight, everything, you know, everything. So I told my wife, I was like, I'm so sick and tired of being overweight. I've been overweight since I was a teenager, since I hit puberty. I hit puberty really early, like eight or nine years old. And I just, you know, be between my hormones and diet, you know, my lifestyle, it was terrible, you know. Um, I couldn't tell you the last time I saw a size 14, 16, hell, 16, um, 14, 15, 16, 18. Yeah, I could kind of remember that a little bit, but I'm a size, like, my heaviest, I was like maybe almost a, tw a size 24. I was teeter-tottering between a 22 and a 24, really. So that's, that's pretty heavy. And, like... My, my uh, heaviest weight was 281 pounds. 281, y'all. Almost 300 pounds. And I'm only 5'7". So, yeah. Um, I, I was out of breath with everything. My bones ache. I, I, to get out of the car, I, I had to, like, set, sit for a minute before I can get up because my bones hurt. Seriously. And I felt like my heart was beating on my chest and so many things. And I just got sick of feeling that way, you know. I got so sick of tired of feeling that way. And my wife has been, like, my biggest supporter. And when I cried to her and told her, baby, I'm tired of it. I really am. She said, okay, baby, we're going to do this together. Even though she's small, um, smaller than, way smaller than I am, she was like, we can do this together. And she's been my champion ever since. And I think I'm hers. But anyways, what I'm doing to lose the weight. My heaviest, I was 181. I mean, 281. I wish I was 181. Um, 281. And now I am at 
153.8. So that's a victory. Yay. That's a victory. And I started in March 28th. Uh, what I've been doing is diet, well, life, lifestyle change, meals changing, food changing, and exercise. In case you want to say diet and exercise, diet and exercise. That's what it is. Diet, exercise, diet, exercise, diet, exercise. Um, I would normally eat a very high carbohydrate, high starch, high sugar uh, meals, snacks, Nothing but M&M's candy, stuff like that. Now, I never was a big sugar drinker, but I was a big sugar eater, you know. Um, I didn't hardly drink sodas, Kool-Aids, teas, things of that nature, lemonades, no. I typically stick with water. I would drink it sometimes, but not, like, every day. You know, no. But uh, my main source of my sugar starch is carbs and sugar, carbs and sugar, and a little protein. And ever since I started on this journey, I've reversed that as more protein and little to no carbs and sugars, right? So I would normally, before this, excuse me, weight loss would have like cereal, Lucky Charms, Frosted Flakes, stuff like that, and then a bagel with cream cheese, and Popeye's chicken, and all kind of stuff, you know, a lot of breads, even subs with thick baguettes and stuff like that. Now, for breakfast, I have a protein shake. I use Pure Whey Protein by Bob Mills, Mill, Bob Mills, yeah, Whey Protein, almond milk, unsweetened. Spinach, strawberries frozen, and I have a banana. That's my little sweetener. That's my protein shake every morning. Every single morning. Every morning. And, well, let me take that back. Not every morning, because sometimes I have that for lunch instead. I have a protein bar. Protein bar has 10 grams of protein. I get it from Aldi. I need to bring that, right? So y'all can see. Next video, I'll bring it. Um, protein bar from Aldi. It's uh, a protein meal bar. It's like strawberry and yogurt. So good. So good. 10 grams of protein, I think. Like 2 grams of sugar. I'm fine with that because I'm going to burn it off anyway. Um, if I do the protein meal bar for breakfast, I do the smoothie for lunch. I do the smoothie for breakfast. I do the protein bar for lunch. But with the lunch, with the protein bar, I would have a small salad with it. Salad dressings, none of those creamy stuff. Oh, a step over clock. I got to go and um, do my 20 or 50 steps. I have a Fitbit that kind of keep me on track. But anyways, um, I would have a small salad with like a vinaigrette. Zesty Italian. Two tablespoons, that's it. For dinner... That's when I eat well. But, you know, not terrible, but I eat well. I have me a nice piece of um, chicken breast. I will grill it. I would have a sweet potato, a small sweet potato. No butter, no sugar. No brown sugar. We don't do that. I put cinnamon on it. Because sweet potatoes are sweet. That's why they're sweet potatoes. So, um, put that in the oven, bake that, have that. Or I would have, like, steamed vegetables or steamed cabbage, you know. Um, like, for dinner, we're having steamed cabbage. I'm having a turk. I'm having turkey and brown rice. So that's dinner. So things like that. It makes a difference. Exercise regimen. Um, every morning, except for last week and this week, yeah, every morning... I would go to the gym around 5.30, 6.30, or 7.30. Just depends on the days because my wife's schedule. We go to the gym. We do two miles on the elliptical. Then we rotate arm and leg day. So that's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is arms. Tuesdays and Thursdays is legs. And then on Saturday, we take a Zumba class, which is intense. That's a very intense hour, okay? That's what we do. That's it. Food, 
diet, food, uh, exercise, food and exercise. And by doing that, I've dropped a lot of weight for me because it's hard. If you are PCOS sufferers, you guys know how hard it is to lose the weight. It is hard, but you have to be smart about it. Before you put anything in your system, work out. That's what you do, work out. And that's what I've been doing. And it works. It really does. You just have to put it in your mind and have your mindset to say, I am going to lose weight. I am going to do it, and I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to go out here and I'm going to work out. Even if it hurts and I don't want to do it, even if I got to cry while I'm working out, I'm working out because your body is going to reward you later on. I have so much more energy now. I get out the car with no problem. I run. I park far. I used to park, try to find a parking space right next to the handicap. No lie. Now, I park way in the back. Go all the way in the back. And I walk to my destination. My body... My body is responding to it and say, oh, yeah, let's do some exercise, you know. My medication, I'm taking the 1,000 milligrams, but it's too much. My blood sugars are, like, falling, you know. Like, I've been cutting them in half because I go and get my um, levels checked at the end of this month or whatever. It's My blood sugars are in between, like, I, normally, well, I would say the average is, like, 108. And that's good. That's really good. So I've been splitting my pills in half and taking only 500, uh, 500 twice a day instead of 1,000 twice a day. Um, my thyroid medicine, I just got that checked today. I'm waiting for those results. But, yeah, I'm hoping that is doing well. My joints don't hurt. I feel great. You know, I feel like I, my double chin is going away. You know, I, I just feel happy, you know. Even if I don't get really small, I'm happy, you know? And I think um, that's the whole goal. Now, I'll probably do another video and talk about the different foods. And then I'll do another video to talk about the different exercises. But I just kind of want to come on and encourage you ladies. You can do it. I saw so many of you ladies who have done it. And I'm like, I can't do that. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. When you are tired... And you, I mean, you have to be really tired, seriously. Not just say, oh, I'm tired of doing like this, and then put a Snickers in your mouth. No, you have to be tired. So you just, like, got to cry it out, scream it out, or whatever. Once you get there, you can lose the weight. You will lose the weight. And you will be healthy, you know. You can do it. You, know, I, I know that you can do it. Especially those who suffer through suffer with PCOS. Do not give up. At no means, do not give up. You are worth it to do it, okay? Even if you just go down one dress size and you feel great, who cares if you plus size, but you feel good, you healthier than some of those who ain't doing what you're doing. I, like I said, I went to a size 20, between 22 and 24. I went to the store the other day, and I fit a size 18 jeans, okay? I haven't seen size 18 since my college years, and that's been many years ago. So, yeah, you can do it. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.